Edo State Governor Senator Monday Okwebolo on Monday vowed to chase criminals out of Edo State and restore total peace in the heartbeat of the nation. Governor Okwebolo, who spoke at the swearing-in ceremony of new appointees held in Government House, Benin City, the Edo State Capital, BTV News Best Orator reports. Swearing in the new appointees, Governor Monday Okwebolo said under his watch, criminals will not be allowed to get away with murder or disrupt the relative peace in the state, as his administration will ensure that they are flushed out of the state. Emmanuel Kwebo stepped in as Commissioner for Finance, Dr. Paddy Yamu as Chairman, State Universal Basic Education Board, Subeb, and a retired Commissioner of Police, Friday Badi, as Coordinator Edo Security Network. At the event, which was held at the new Festival Hall, Government House in Benin City, Governor Kwebo charged them to use their positions to uplift the state. I don't first before your personal goal, out of trust and believing you, your hard work, I know you are going to rebuild our educational system. Governor Kwebolo commended their hard work and dedication and urged them to reposition education, strengthen security, and enhance the treasury to develop Edo State and make it a better place for all and not seek personal gains. Speaking to the chairman of SBEB, Dr. Paddy Yamu, Governor Kwebolo said it was trust that enabled him to get to that position, saying that he believes in his ability and capacity to deliver and with hard work he will rebuild the educational system. For retired CP Badin, the governor said he is not a pushover in terms of securing adult people adding that it is time to flush out criminals and send them out of the land. Turning his attention to the Commissioner for Finance, Governor Kwebolo noted that the Commissioner is not a novice but experienced in the banking sector, urging him to use that experience to salvage Edo State's treasury. Edo first, before your personal goal, out of trust and believing you, your hard work, I know you are going to rebuild our educational system. When we say new Edo is rising, this is the time to show it. For this security man, I believe in you. You have been a commissioner of police. You are not just a pushover. It is time to pursue the criminals and send them out of our land. <laughs> the finance commissioner also, you've been there and you know the job. You have not just come in today as somebody who just pick on the street. You have experience in banking. And your experience to save our land, save our money for us, and let us use the money to develop our state. The appointees promised to make the governor and Edo State proud. Uh, Padi Yang and CP Badi want to first of all thank God for this opportunity to save this good of Edo State. I also want to thank the executive governor of the state, Senator Modo Pueblo and the deputy governor, Dennis Honor, Right Honorable Dennis Idaosa, and the other members of the executive uh, uh, council. Uh, we are committed to help support the governor to achieve his five point agenda orders so that they do will be better. The Edo State House of Assembly had last week Monday's plenary declared the appointees after the adoption of the report of its Committee on Rules and Business. The swearing-in ceremony had in attendance the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Right Honorable Dennis Dahosa, Secretary to Edo State Government, Barista Musa Ihilo, Chief of Staff to the Governor, Gani Aoudou, Edo State Head of Service, Dr. Anthony Okungbawa, Permanent Secretaries and others. Best Orator reporting for BTV News.